Hello, Retro Bro here, giving you a Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle against King Jackson. And this match is on the way. So be interested to see what he opened with. I wanted to try to go for the Malamar speed, so I opened with Malamar. At this point, I'm not too worried about his threat and his boots it out. So I went ahead and went for the Super Power so I can try to get those buffs and with these my damage. Luckily for me, he goes in the Flygon, so I can hit it pretty decently. But I also have to switch out and clear the U-turn. So this is why I go into my Vaporeon. My Vaporeon is a tank on both special defense and physical defense, so the U-turn won't do much damage to it. Also, I have Scald on this thing, which nobody on this team is going to want in case the burn actually happens. So this actually works out perfectly that he's switching, because I can probably catch the flag on eventually later. He goes into Sceptile. At this point, I protect it only because I have leftovers on, and it never hurts to get that extra bit of health. But once I get it, I'll definitely switch out. I have my Arcanine on standby, so he's the Pokemon I'll definitely want to switch into. And here he comes, a Bay Bay the Arcanine. At this point here, I want to go for a Flare Blitz. I know he's going to switch, but nothing on the team wants a Flare Blitz. Look and fear the power of Arcanine. This thing is water and ground, which is completely resistant to fire, and look how much damage it took. Nothing wants that. It just wrecks house. In my personal opinion, Arcanine is definitely one of the best Pokemon in the game. So at this point now, he predicts the switch and goes to Dove Rock, which is actually a really smart move, and bothers me a lot because I don't have a Rapid Spinner, so if he can constantly force me to switch, this could be really troublesome and possibly make me lose the game. And at this point, he puts out his Ampharos. Ooh, and the burn hack is real. I definitely need that. At this point, I'm going to be a dude to protect. Just so he takes extra damage from the burn before I switch out. Now that he's taking the hit from the burn, and I know he wants the Thunderbolt, I'm just going to go ahead and go into my Manetric. I personally think they need to fix the move Volt Absorb, because Volt Absorb only absorbs the move like Volt Switch, and I think that really it should be changed to actually just absorbing any type of electric move. I kind of like the fire type to do with flash fire and water type to do with water there. They really kind of nerfed the move by only making it take small. Either way, Manectric still did a decent amount of damage, so at this point, I'm going to go into Vaporeon. I'm just going to simply protect this turn and let the burn kill him. Also, Vaporeon is pretty decent against anyone he has left on his team, so it was the perfect pick for this point in time. I mean, he still has Deceptile, but... Arcanine is still on standby for that, and if he picks anything else, I would definitely want to just put the burn on it and keep it hit, so Vaporeon is definitely the best choice for me right now. So he goes into the Sceptile, obviously predicted, but with Ape Bay on standby, it's really not a big deal. <laughs> for a sword dance, this is not good. Because I'm pretty sure Sceptile outspeeds me. Ooh, when he knows Rain Punch. <laughs> but the power of Arcanine just eating that up. Afe Blade flexing in the building. 
It's unfortunate that the recoil damage will kill me, but he definitely did his job. He hard bodied after a drain punch. Not even bad. So he goes into a dust box named Peekaboo, and Vaporeon completely walls this thing. So I'm definitely going to use my Vaporeon for this. Ooh, and the hacks are real. Another burn. And this is actually a surprise to me that he did the Shadow Ball. I figured he was the defensive set, so he would actually probably go for the will o so I can heal Bell at all. But being a special attacking set doesn't bother me either, because as I said, this is a complete wall, strong in the physical and the special side, so I can eat those things up all day. At this time, he goes into Giovanni the Hanstro. This is actually really troublesome because these things are really strong to see, and I'm actually worried about it. Vaporeon is the best person at taking hits on my team that's left right now, so I'm going to go ahead and use it. Oh, but he knows the substitute. I was actually really worried about the substitute right now because I'm a complete defensive wall, and I didn't think the skulls would actually get rid of it, but luckily for me, it did. So at this point now, I'm just going to go for another skull, but I seriously doubt he's going to do another substitute. And he decides to go for a sucker punch. Not a problem at all. I can eat those things all day. So at this point now, I'm not going to protect for the extra health because I'm pretty sure that thing may have roots. Ooh, but it brave birds. Do not know if I can lift this. This is bad. Not even bad. I even ate the Brave Bird from the Mighty Hanstro. No complaint at all. For this next turn, no matter what he puts out, I'm going to protect because I need some extra health at this point. He wanted to go for Waterfall. So he does not know about the Water Floor technique? Not even bad. I'm gonna go ahead and wish this turn. Come on, do Waterfall, do Waterfall, do Waterfall. <laughs> yes, he actually did it. Just what I needed. This might be good game. Zephoryon with this much health is very dangerous for him. I can take on anything on this team at this point. That skull gave me the lucky crit, but ladies and gentlemen, to be honest with you, it did not matter. Because a second skull would have definitely killed him anyway. So I go for the skull here and finish him off. Really nothing else I really need to do, especially after getting all that health back from the wish. So he goes in the Flygon, which is perfect for me, because I'm pretty sure this thing can do nothing to me. The Dragon Claw wasn't too bad. I'm actually surprised because I expected more damage from it. Definitely no worries at this point. I'm pretty sure Vaporeon can finish the rest of this game. Which is good for me, because I didn't want to have to do a lot of switching, since he put the stuff rocks out anyway. So now he goes on the people who his dust box. So my focus here is to start going for him. So I need to protect just to get a little bit of health back. And then next turn my plan is to go ahead and go for the witch. Since he's burned, I can easily outstall him. Get my health back and let his drop down. Now that I got some health coming back, I can go ahead and fall the few times just to finish this thing off. Ooh, and another crit. But I assure you ladies and gentlemen, that crit did not matter. Because not only did it not kill, but it still would have took two skulls anyway to kill it. When you count the fact that you would have had a skull burn damage, 
Then another skull with burn damage again, and that would have taken it out anyway. And at this point, that is good game. If you guys like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Also show King Jaja some love. And go ahead and check out his page and follow him on Twitter. The links will all be in the description. And as usual, I'm Retro Bro, signing out.